Welcome back. Now, we hear a lot from big companies, especially major manufacturers, about their concerns over Brexit. But what about small companies and the self-employed? Well, a new survey suggests that 40% believe Brexit will negatively affect their finances, and 31% say it will damage their business overall. Well, that's research by the accounting fintech at Coconut, which is currently bidding for funding from the Royal Bank of Scotland Fund to support business banking competition. Its chief executive, Sam O'Connor, joins me now. Sam, very good afternoon to you. I mean, Thanks most... And SMEs and the self-employed don't export. Why on earth should they be worried about Brexit? Well, uh, our customers um, are specifically the 5 million freelancers and owner-managed businesses, which we feel have been kind of left out by the traditional banks and the cloud accounting packages. And they, they do actually export. So if you're a uh, self-employed designer, you might have clients in Europe. Or if you're a, you know, a, a small flower shop, you might import from poppies from Holland, for instance. And so the uncertainty that's created around uh, the Brexit decision being delayed creates a lot of pain for our customers. So are you seeing much evidence of them trying to mitigate any uh, ill effects of this? Well, it's a real challenge. If you're just one person in a business, uh, then you don't have the resources that you need to actually uh, do things like plan effectively for Brexit. And actually, what we try and focus on is, is reducing or making it much simpler to manage your accounting and tax and take that work away. In fact, we just had the end of the tax year and our customers were on social media saying it was much quicker this year for them to do that. And so in that way, we can enable them to shore up their business and make sure that the income is there. Interesting you mentioned tax of course, because we've just had Making Tax Digital, whereby companies have to put their VAT returns, uh, submit them online. I mean, mm. are, are most businesses coping with that in your experience? Well, it, it's, it's a bit of a slow start, but it came in on the 1st of April, and HMRC are working with companies like us. Uh, we're working closely with them to make Making Tax Digital seamless. So um, we'd hope that actually our customers don't really have to think about Making Tax Digital when they're managing VAT. I mean, that means, I mean, no one has to put a VAT return online until August at the earliest, so there's still plenty of time for people to get used to it, I guess. That's right. So, yeah, you, the first VAT returns that have to go through uh, making tax digital APIs or through a product like Coconut it, are in August. So, as we said in the introduction there, you're looking for funding from the RBS Competition Fund. What are you looking to do with that money if you're successful? Yeah, well, I think um, our customers, these we call them personal businesses because they're owner-managed, uh, have been really left out in the cold by the traditional banks particularly, but then some of the other products that are designed much for bigger businesses. And so whilst we will continue our plan uh, anyway in servicing those customers, the, the RBS fund uh, money would enable us to uh, speed up our product roadmap and uh, reach a much wider audience much more quickly. But, I mean, the RBS fund is all about essentially getting more lending out in the economy, more competition in, in SME banking. I mean, you're, you're not going to go for a banking licence or anything like that. Well, actually, Pool D that we're applying for is more about the, um, the, the speeding up of development of fintech products that are going to support uh, small businesses and owner-managed businesses. And, and actually, when our customers do well, the economy does well. And so we're really focused on making that happen for them. Now, you uh, were initially training with an account... A to be an accountant, that was when you met your business partner. What made you decide to go and set up this business? Yeah, so we, we trained at PwC and that's where we met. And uh, we, we actually left and had another fintech before, which we sold in 2014. And, and after we became freelancers ourselves, we encountered this challenge around accounting and, and tax automation. And so that's what spurred us to start Coconut. All right, Sam O'Connor from Coconut. Very good to see you. Thanks, Thanks for joining me. Thanks very much. Me. Well, just before I go, a bit of breaking news to bring you, which is that Laura, from L'Oreal, the Betancourt family which, and uh, their foundation, they, of course, are the uh, key shareholders in L'Oreal, they say they will donate €200 million Euros in total for the Notre Dame Cathedral repairs. At this rate, we're going to have to need a little uh, bug up in the corner to keep a running total for you. Anyway, you've been watching Ian King Live. There's video content and analysis on the business pages of the Sky News website. I'm back this time tomorrow. Hope very much to see you then. In the meantime, do stay tuned. The Kate Burley Show is coming up next. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.